What's up guys, Donovan with Team Tate Outdoors. Today we're gonna to be talking about bow fishing for Plecostomus or the armored catfish. Before I go any farther, go down there, hit the subscribe button so you can subscribe to all our videos, hit the like button, leave us a thumbs up and put some comments in our video. We're gonna do a Plecostomus catch clean cook. You don't wanna miss it. See how this fish turns out. Good shot, Ben. Yeah, nice. What you got? Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know? That's a Plecostomus. It's cool. You know what we'll do is we'll do a, uh, I'll do a catch, clean, and cook with that Plecostomus. Nice. nice. First invasive species down. Here we go. Let me try to do this right here. Well guys, we just got back to the house and uh, got the fish on ice, got the boat parked, we got it washed already, and tomorrow morning, we're actually gonna get up, we got a couple errands to run, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do a catch clean cook, uh, a Plecostomus, stick with us, ought to be interesting. All right guys, well, Hey, last night we shot one of these Placos and um, I promised you guys we would be doing a Placo catch, clean, and cook. And so we're going to go ahead and clean this fish up. This is actually a, an invasive species down here in South Florida. Um, they are basically that little tiny fish that you buy for your fish tank in a ginormous size. They're super hard. They're very hard. The scales are are like armor. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna gut this thing, we're gonna put them in the smoker, and we're gonna let them smoke for several hours. And when I get back off this charter tonight, we're gonna pull them out, and see if this shell doesn't fall off the meat like I've been told that they do. We're gonna see if it tastes like crab. Everyone keeps telling me that it's gonna be like crab. We'll see. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna use a hook blade. The only soft spot they have is really on their, on their belly. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook that blade in there. You can hear it, it's like cutting a piece of leather. There we go. We're gonna clean out the guts here. Look how weird that gut sack looks. You ever seen anything like that? I haven't. Now, if this fish is good, I might start eating them. But we shall see. We shall see. Back up just a little bit, honey, so you can see me. In. Just trying to clean up 
clean up all the last of the little bit of guts that are inside of here. I don't want any guts in it while it cooks. We got all the guts out of him. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna stuff him with some herbs. All right guys, so what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna do something that, um, kind of in the culinary world, but we're gonna do it in whatever, whatever ingredients I have in my kitchen right now. And which are, in, because we're Asian and we like to eat Asian food, well my wife is, we eat a lot of garlic, we eat a lot of green onions, and we eat a lot of cilantro. Now that with this giant cavity that this fish has, we're gonna fill this up so we don't have to really chop any of this. What I am gonna do, I am gonna break these um, cloves up because I'm gonna put them right in this, what's called a sachet, I'm not, it's not a sachet, a bouquet garni. Okay, and it's basically you take your herbs Roll that up and set this on the outside. Take all your herbs. Get in there, garlic. And you tie them off. And you I rinse these herbs already. There we go. I already rinse the herbs. I'm gonna take this whole thing. Onions, garlic, cilantro. And I'm going to pack it into its cavity, just like this. I'm going to leave that string on there so I can take it out later. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit more string. I'm going to tie that fish up. see if this will work. So just keep his belly closed so those herbs stay in there. You see a lot of this being done with uh, like chicken and, and stuff like that. Not really fish, but what's to say that this Placo doesn't taste like some amazing, you know, chicken or crab meat. That's what we, everyone tells me it tastes like crab meat. Well, the people that say that they've eaten it, whether I believe them or not, I don't know. All right, got that pretty much closed up. And we're gonna set him directly onto the smoker. Now the smoker should be running, so let's go out there and check it. There, so what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna set this fish right on the smoker, just like that. I've got my vent closed. We got it set to smoke, which is gonna be probably not over about 160 degrees in here. So we're gonna let that smoke for several hours. We're gonna come back and hopefully this shell will just fall off tonight. It's gonna be pretty dark late at night when we get when we get done. Hey guys, just got back from a charter. Uh, it's almost, no, it's after midnight now. This fish has been cooking quite a while at, on smoking, so it may be overcooked. We're flying out to Maryland uh, in the morning and we're trying to close up this video, but we did want to smoke this fish and try it. But um, we had a lot of things going on today. So if it's overcooked, we understand, but we are going to try it again. So let's check it out though. All right, well, I'm just going to carry it like this. There's my fish stick. Let's go open her up. smell it actually smells like um like seafood like um like crab or lobster to be honest my wife gave me the dull knife all the herbs have cooked out that looks good we're gonna see if I can just break this open there we go look at that guys it actually 
actually looks pretty good. Look at that. Falls right off the bone. Ooh, it's hot though. If you can see the spine in there, I mean, it's fully smoked. You can almost eat the bones. That is crazy, ain't it? All right, so. It's actually, it's a little dry right now. Let's see how this looks. So this is our, look at the meat. It's just gonna fall out of this shell. There's the bones. So literally just fill right out of the shell. I got the bones here. All the bones are still intact. Take, this is my herbs. So there's all the seasoning. That's all we put in there. here let me get some light on there we go so you guys are seeing it firsthand a placo literally cooked down in a smoker and the, the meat literally just falls right out of it there's a bone look at that it's like a encrusted shell that's the meat what a super cool fish there's all the bones all the meat fell right off the bones it pulled away from the bones literally all the meats out of the tail we've got all of it done so now just to Look at that. It's actually beautiful. It's really delicate. We don't have any salt and pepper on it. So I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper on it. But it's really good. It doesn't like taste bad or nothing. There's no funky flavor on it. Um, it just, it's, it's a little dry. I mean, it seems moist actually inside. It's pretty, I mean, actually you can see the juice. You can see the juices. So the meat, I meat's mean, not dry. It's actually really good. I think six hours is about right. It's actually really good. It's really good, guys. It's um, it's very soft, tender. It's not um, it's not something you can flay. This is good. I could eat this fish a lot. I could eat this fish a lot. That is really good, guys. Placo Placostomus. We didn't season it. We just stuck some uh, um, a bouquet garni in it with green onion, cilantro, and garlic. Put it in the belly. We stuck it in the smoker for just under six hours. And it came out just like this. This has been a successful uh, catch, clean, and cook. And I've been throwing these things away for a while. But hey, we might start eating more of these costumes. Thanks for watching our show. This is Donovan with Team Tate Outdoors, and you just watched us eat.
Apple Customers. We'll see you.